The next topic to discuss is about theorems 5-10 and 5-11. Now to explain those, I built a triangle and have measured all the side lengths and all the angles. And there are things I want you to notice about side lengths and angles and how they're related. Okay? Now notice that AB is the longest side length. And across from it, angle C, is the largest angle. Okay? And that will always happen in a triangle. CA is the side length that's in the middle. And it's across from the angle that's in the middle. Finally, segment BC is the shortest side length, and it's across from the angle that's the smallest angle. Okay? And that relationship will always happen. And that's kind of what theorem 5-10 and 5-11 say. So here's theorem 5-10, and it says if two sides of a triangle are not congruent, then the larger angle is opposite the longer side. Okay? So let's use um, theorem 5-10, and it, this problem says a town park is triangular. A landscape architect wants to place a bench at the corner with the largest angle. Which two streets form the corner with the largest angle? Well, I know from theorem 5-10 that the largest angle is across from the longest side. So the longest side would be this one. So across from it would be right here is where the park bench should be placed. So the question asks, which two streets form that corner? And the answer would be um, Martin Luther King Boulevard and Valley Road. Theorem 5-11 is kind of the opposite of, of the idea we talked about a little bit ago. If two angles of a triangle are not congruent, then the longer side is opposite the larger angle. So now I'm using angles to tell me about lengths of sides. Using theorem 5-11, which choice shows the sides of triangle TUV in order from shortest to longest? Well, the first thing I need to do is to find that third side, sorry, the, the third angle. And I'll find that by adding up these two angles, 58 plus 62, is 120, okay? And subtracting that from 180, so 180 minus 120 is 60. So this angle up here must be 60 degrees. Okay, so I want to find the side lengths in order from shortest to longest. Okay, so the shortest side length will be opposite the shortest, the, so the smallest angle. Here's the smallest angle, so across from it is TV. So TV must be the shortest um, side length. In the middle would be 60 degrees, and so opposite it would be this, the, the middle side, UV, which leaves the largest angle across from the largest side, TU, or UT. Okay? So the answer would be A, and that's how you find um, the side lengths in order from shortest to longest and how to use theorems 5-10 and 5-11.